Before I came to UK, I have been engaged in the children's training industry for several years in my hometown. I ran two centers with about 200 students. However, due to the pandemic, the market became more and more dispersed. I firstly hung it on for a while, but finally I decided to transfer my business to others. Although I feel it was a pity, it was the best solution at that time. I have always been interested in arts and design since I was a child, but I never had opportunity or a courage to learn. I always felt it was too old to start from scratch. But this change in my job gave me a chance to reconsider it. Standing at this point, I think it's never too late to start as long as I'm interested in it. If I'm making choice later, I really don't have a chance. So finally, I decide to prepare the portfolio and the health. Fortunately, I got offer of Kingston University. When I came here, I didn't have much of my own methods and skills for learning at the beginning. Everything was in groping. Here is what I learned along the way. As I do not have any design foundation. So at the beginning of the assignment, I have no creativity, skills, inspiration. Every time I finished the corresponding assignment, I feel that I had simply complete homework task, but didn't achieve some improvement and progress through the project. Later, I found in the assignment, I should consciously set myself some goals. Such as learning some new software skills through different projects, or apply some new design series, or is to know a new design style, or read a book related. So at the end of each project, I can have a few more harvest. In the past, I have always seen opinions on the importance of software design on social media, believing that what is important is aesthetic appreciation and design thinking and concepts. While、well, software skills are not very important because they can be learned in a short time, but when I design, I feel that I'm always confined to technique. And as a designer, only when you master best technique, then you can have choices that which technique you would use. Also, you have more freedom in your design. For me, as a beginner, software technique is very important, so I will spend time practicing. There is no shortcut to improve technique, and I do believe the shortcut is the longest way. Starting from scratch is always the hardest. Just like driving a car in the initial stage requires full horsepower, but with more practice, it will definitely accelerate. Practice make perfect. There are many paths for us designers: advertising design, e-commerce design, illustration, branding design, book design, UX UI design, etc. There are so many categories, and it is almost impossible to become a generalist for everything. Finding a suitable path for my development to me is also a problem that needs to be considered. Only when find the most suitable direction can I stimulate my enthusiasm. Through earlier study, I have noticed that I have stronger interest in branding design and 3D design, so I may explore these two directions more in the future. 
and I won't stop being curious about other areas, because all these are the way to express the world and myself. We often exchange ideas, present our works, and discuss a certain topic in class. In the process, I learn a lot of things. How people have so diverse views on the same work. How we accept different ideas. How people can be so productive and so creative for the same time period. And how interesting and sometimes unpredictable. Like the one I'm working on now, I think design is very inclusive subject and life topic, and you can't just limit yourself to your own circle. You have to bravely share your idea, accept all kinds of comments, and be inspired by others, because each one, my classmates and my tutor, is like a small world. Or a facet of a diamond, they all contribute to letting me see a more complete world. Whenever I feel my back hurts and my eyes hurt from looking at the screen for too long, I'd like to take a walk in the park, Bushy, Hampton, and Richmond. This is my way of going back to nature's embrace. I feel physically and mentally relaxed. I'm more aware and more sensitive to everything. When I take in the fresh air and enjoy the nature scenery, I feel I'm part of the nature. Shi Tao, a famous ancient Chinese painter, once said, "Yi Hua." Is the root of all things and the root of all phenomena. It is from gods, but it is hidden in people. The yi hua literally means a stroke on the painting, but it actually is a lot more than that. Yi hua is like the track of the heart. We accumulate different experience and the tracks. Or our heart change accordingly, and since our heart changes, what we experience also changes. This is mutual transformation and interaction. So whenever I go too far, I need to go back to the nature, which is the root and origin of everything. I believe a designer's state, whether he is happy, frustrated, tired, or content, and his life experience will come into design work naturally. Only right now it is uncontrollable for me, but in the future, when I'm more proficient at the technique and more fluid in design process, the expression will be controllable. Even though a designer's work will not meet everyone's aesthetic taste, the energy emanating from the work will can be felt. So I just need to enjoy in my own design and process. Whenever I have an idea and start in design, it is the happiest moment. I believe this is my spark described in the movie Soul. It feel like I can let go of everything when I'm designing.